climate matters. Acid rain was a big concern for most Western countries in the 1980s, but we haven't heard much of it in recent years. Storm Tracker 4 meteorologist Daniel McFarland joining us live right now from Midtown to explain why. Daniel. Well, yeah, as you said, it was a huge conversation during the 1980s, but back in 1990, the Clean Air Act was passed, and that went a long way to cleaning up the acid rain. The Clean Air Act put limits on pollutants like sulfur dioxide and nitrogen dioxide, which could have mixed in with the rain and caused damage to crops. Tucson resident Jerry Borchard worked with Hughes Aircraft back in the 1980s where emissions were common. He said the sulfur dioxide and nitrogen dioxide emissions were a big issue when developing aircraft, but things are improving. I've seen a change a great deal in that respect because there's no longer a, a concern about acid rain. However, there are other types of pollution that have gotten worse. Carbon dioxide emissions have increased since the 80s, but findings by CarbonBrief.org have shown that global emissions have been flat for a decade. Those gases do not contribute to acid rain. A 50-year study on acid rain conducted by a Swedish group in 2016 found that a majority of Western nations have improved, but other countries have gotten worse. It read, as developing countries such as India and China have industrialized, their emissions of sulfur dioxide and nitrogen dioxide have increased. Same pattern can be observed in quickly growing areas in Latin America and Africa. From this information, we can infer that acid rain will still be a problem in some parts of the world in the coming decades, even if we have improved in our country. We've done a good job in terms of cleaning up some emissions, but the most important emissions in terms of the carbon, the methane, um, we still need to do a lot of work on that. And those are the emissions that are still a little bit of an issue here, but when it comes to acid rain, as you heard, we're looking pretty good for the coming decades for the United States. Back to you. Daniel, thank you.